Hello everyone, welcome back. I thought it would be a good time to shake off some of the cobwebs, get out of the winter funk, and try to inspire myself to get ready for plein air season because spring is right around the corner. And what better way to do that than to start a new sketchbook? And this one may look familiar because it is a new version of my beige or toned paper sketchbook that I've used for the last couple years and you've seen in a lot of my videos. It's the Stillman & Burn Nova beige sketchbook and I mostly use it for gouache but also ink and some other mixed media. But my old one only has a few pages left. I'm going to use that as I transition to painting outside over the next couple months and hopefully finish that up before April. As many of you know, the last few years I've done the April art challenge called Plen April, meaning I paint outside every day during April. And the last two years in particular, I've also recorded each of those sessions and made little shorts or reels for them. Uh, so a lot of you have followed along each April and that's been really fun. This year in particular, I want to be a lot more focused and use it as a pretty intense study month. So I am going to record bits and pieces of it, but probably do like a big video at the end of the month instead of daily short videos. Um, anyways, back to today. <laughs> I decided for this new sketchbook, I'm going to devote the first several pages to doing some smaller, more in-depth studies. A couple reference photos have been popping up in my memory over and over again, and I've been thinking about spring and summer a lot lately. So I'm going to break out some of my new gouache colors, play with different color combinations that I'm not super used to, and start to get used to the process of using my dried gouache palette every day with the new colors, doing a study, and learning from it. So I'm going to take notes along the way and really critique my study. Getting into this more serious study mode before Plan Air Pearl starts is really going to help and not make it feel so overwhelming. In the past, whenever I've gone into study mode, I will sometimes forget how intense it can be and I don't quite prepare myself ahead of time. But now that spring is getting closer and some of the days are a bit more mild, I've been going out a little bit here and there, testing the waters, getting back into the flow of that. Because, you know, going out with your sketchbook and your paint supplies, it takes a lot of extra effort and even that in itself takes some getting used to. So the more I do it now, the less overwhelming it will be in April. I feel like I grow plein air wings in April. It inspires me so much and I feel ready for an entire summer of painting outside all the time. So yeah, it's time to prepare.
Over this past winter, I've been doing a lot of studies in the studio, as well as more finish work, uh, some of which I've shared here on YouTube and social media, but some of it I haven't shared yet. And in the past couple weeks, especially, I've been reflecting on a lot of that work and the studies. And it actually has made me reflect on my whole journey as an artist. <laughs> Maybe I do this every winter just because I have the time for it or I give myself time to reflect. I feel like I am so humbled every time I paint. And it got me thinking lately about my tutorial boxes and actually all the tutorials I do on all the different platforms, how a lot of people comment or let me know that they struggle so much because they've never like used the medium itself, the paint. They've never tried gouache before. So just getting the, the feel for how it sits on the brush, how much water you need versus how much paint you need that can be very overwhelming, which I completely understand because even I have days like that. But what I'm trying to say is that there are two sides to it. There is the learning of art concepts like perspective and scale and color theory and all of that side of it and style, like what style do you want to paint in? And then there's the technical side of it, like how to actually handle the paint or whatever you're using. And I'm starting to realize that those two things should be studied independently as well as together. So to do it independently, you can paint something very simple like a block or a sphere, nothing too complicated, just to get a feel for how to use the paint. And then you can study theory like concept or perspective simply with drawing because drawing is a very direct way to play with perspective, scale, proportions, all of the things you need in a representational painting. And it's a lot more simple because you don't have the color involved and it's to me it's a very direct form of art. And then you can start slowly adding in color theory and just take your time getting into each of the different aspects of it. And then you can bridge them together by doing an actual landscape or a painting. Um, and a lot of us jump straight into doing it all in one go. So someone who's brand new to art will sit down and try to paint a landscape with no understanding of all of those fundamentals individually. And that is very overwhelming. <laughs> so I completely understand how that feels because I've gone through it. And what I try to do in my tutorials is explain things as simply as possible as we go through the different steps of the painting. Like, why did I make that choice? What, what, theory or concept am I thinking of or why am I using these colors all of that um, if you're interested in learning about gouache or just painting landscapes in general I have quite a few tutorials on my patreon page and for those of you who are doing the gouache subscription boxes I've been having a lot of fun seeing all of your work and really look forward to you getting your next boxes um, but if you're interested in those, we'll probably do another op order opening in the spring. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, but otherwise, I'm just going to continue studying myself because there's always more to learn. And I am getting so excited for spring. So thank you very much for hanging out with me for this little study session. And I'll see you all next time. Take care. Take care.